Hey, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm modeling a Pokeball. Uh, for those who don't know what Pokeball is, uh, it's a spherical device used in uh, Pokemon games and TV series to catch uh, the creatures found in the Pokemon world. Today it would be an easy tutorial. I won't be using any tough techniques. Okay, let's start. Select uh, sphere and uh, go into perspective with view with all W and uh, create a sphere by dragging the mouse and uh, let's change the parameters uh, change radius to 40 and segments to 38 okay that's fine uh, make sure you use any even number around 30 would be fine and uh, come to front view with F right click the sphere and convert to editable poly now in editable poly uh, select the plus sign and polygons now select all these uh, polygons found in polygons in the middle of the sphere and now uh, in edit polygons give bevel uh, press this sign okay now as you can see it's all messed up it's not uh, it's not fine so bevel type mm, select it to local normal and uh, change i to i think minus 4 okay 4 uh, and outline to 0 you can also use extrude but i'm using bevel it's all the same now because i'm giving outline 0 and uh, okay now delete these polygons uh, if you new pokeball uh, it somewhat resembles this okay and uh, okay now i'll change the color okay now come to create and uh, cylinder now come to front view with f and uh, create a cylinder right in the middle of the grid or right in the middle of the ball okay that's fine and now place the uh, cylinder it doesn't matter actually but uh, I did it okay Okay, that's fine and uh, now I'm going to use boolean if you don't know what boolean is it's something that uh, uh, deletes an object uh, al which is attached to another object but it deletes along with uh, the polygons of the another object okay and now uh, come to boolean in compound objects now in move pick uh, operand B pick operand B and uh, select the cylinder now as you can see the polygons of the ball are also deleted okay that's fine and uh, okay now make it an editable poly again okay and editable poly okay that's good okay and come to top view with T and now in create come again to standard primitives and choose sphere now uh, right in the middle of the ball create a sphere okay and now let's change the parameters uh, radius to anything you want but it should be uh, smaller than the ball uh, the outer ball and now segments it could be anything okay uh, that's fine I'll change the color okay uh, now I'll make the cylinder uh, now choose cylinder and now come to front view now what I'm going to make is the small sign in the pokeball uh, it's something that opens the pokeball actually if you see if you saw the anime okay now drag the mouse okay and then place the cylinder Now uh, change the coordinates x to 0, y to 0 and z to 0 of the ball and again of the inner sphere uh, x0, y0 and z0 uh, and the cylinder make sure it's 0 and y doesn't matter actually. Uh, okay that's fine. Okay I'll change the color to white. 
okay now come here and uh, change the radius and uh, height if you need okay not the height segments uh, I'm sorry okay that's fine now let's make it an editable poly right click convert to editable poly okay press the sign and polygon now select the top uh, polygon and give inset inset uh, actually inserts the polygon uh, like the name suggests okay and insert to to uh, no I'm sorry uh, insert to amount to okay uh, that's fine insert okay and now select the inserted polygon and give extrude extrude it to any amount you want uh, 1.52 or anything make sure it's not too big and uh, okay and now uh, the modeling is finished it's over and uh, I'll be giving the uh, I'll be giving the texturing of it and uh, what I'm doing now is I'm giving smooth to the cylinder okay give auto smooth okay that's good now I'll be giving it the texturing the colors okay and uh, select the outer ball outer sphere and uh, now uh, press M for material editor material editor is an uh, tool which gives the objects the color okay uh, give red select that uh, box okay and choose the polygons in the front view these polygons uh, the top polygons okay and press that button there okay that's fine and uh, select the down polygons now select here this box okay and uh, change the color there okay to white okay now select that assign material tool okay and uh, yeah, that's fine but I'll be giving it uh, a shiny color color too so I'll, I'll give I'll give that uh, cylinder the color too with the white okay assign material color and uh, okay I'll be giving this sh uh, shiny color okay to give it all you have to do is uh, select the material then uh, okay, I'll be selecting the red then sp specular level you could you could uh, raise it and glossiness too uh, I'm giving glossiness to 15 okay oh sorry to 15 uh, that's fine and uh, for white specular to 30 and uh, glossiness to 15 okay that's fine now you can see the uh, little bit of change but you could uh, change the um, material editor settings to make it much better okay and now you saw the rendering it's fine please like the video and subscribe thank you